And that's CR Cowboy Jake with the commissioner and stand for something along the inside. Next out to Camistic, then Hot Rum. Daylon Frontier and Red River Hanover. To the outside, Radiant Man. I, Carl's Allegre, and if I had your luck, and in the trailing 11 post is Ashley's big guy. It's third race post time. The third from Woodbine. Second, 2001 Metro Stakes Elimination. Here they come. And they're off and pacing. Daylon Frontier is off stride, leaving out of there. Daylon Frontier has made a break. Has to go on is Radiant Man. If I had your luck, is floated up on the extreme outside. Camistic, stand for something. CR Cowboy Jake is going to sprint for Carl Allen right on through along the inside. Hot Rum is left out in the center of the track. And Ashley's big guy followed through in sixth, ahead of the commissioner from seventh. Daylon Frontier has landed back down pacing, but is in the backfield just ahead of Red River Hanover. And I, Carl Allegre, was 11th and last away. See our cowboy Jake buzzing the quarter in an amazing two-year-old speed of 25 and three. Uh, see our cowboy Jake fronting the field. There comes Chemistic popping out from third. Now back in third is Stan for something and if I had your luck race favorite is moved out from fourth calmly by Mike Lachance. Hot rum is on the outside from fifth. Ashley's big guy sixth outside. Radiant Man is seventh and on the pylons. Red River Hanover got out from eighth. The commissioner is ninth. I Carl's Allegre is tenth and last passing the half. Daylon Frontier in 55 and 1. And if I had your luck has made the lead over Camistic into the final turn. Hot Rum parked to the outside. Third and uncovered. CR Cowboy Jake is uh, very, very weary now back there in fourth after the huge opening quarter. But Ashley's big guy is on the second over advance into the top five. And Red River Hanover is sixth on the outside. Stand for something is seventh. I Carl's Allegra is eighth on the outside. Ninth turning for home was Radiant Man just ahead of Daylon Frontier. The commissioner was 11th. If I had your luck, turns for home. Hot Rum is chasing Ashley's big guy and Red River Hanover down the center of the track. They're off three quarters and one twenty-four and two. And Hot Rum came to a short lead. Red River Hanover and Waples looking mighty confident on the outside. Red River Hanover wins the second Metro Stakes elimination over Hot Rum. Chemistic was third. Ashley big guy was fourth. That was Red River Hanover in one fifty-two and two. Number seven, Red River Hanover, the third race winner at Woodbine of the second Metro Pacing Stakes elimination. Western Hanover, two-year-old Bay Colt from Rich and Elegant, owned by Lothlarne Equestrian Center of Mississauga and Jeffrey Snyder of New York, trained by Sean Robinson from the Robinson Stable and driven to victory by Randall Waples. That's the fourth win in seven starts this year. Red River Hanover in his Metro Pacing Stakes elimination took a mark of 152 and 2. That takes driver Randy Waples to the verge of a milestone. Lifetime winning drive 2,499. Yes, up at the back side, it looked pretty good, and uh, he always comes from behind. He's getting a little better every week. And, Murray, you were saying before we went on camera, the horse is just learning uh, his trade. Uh, how do you think things will uh, fare out uh, next week and down the road for this colt? You know, he's kind of a big, gawky colt who's just learning what racing's all about. I fully expect him to get better and stronger and, and you know, easier to get along with as time goes on uh, he you know he's got a couple of great brothers uh, his dam's probably the most illustrious mare in the recent history of the breed she never misses and this colt might be her best getting a look at the uh, stretch drive and the horse uh, on the outside absolutely flying and uh, at this point you had to uh, be feeling uh, quite a sensation oh we felt good at the head of the stretch <laughs> Well, there you go. That's uh, Dick McCumber and Murray uh, Brown. Uh, connections with Red River Hanover. And uh, congratulations to you, gentlemen, and good luck next week. And we'll go inside to get uh, some post-race comments from Peter and Greg.